This is what's going on in Guangzhou right now. Black people have been kicked out of their apartments. Students have been kicked out of their dormitories because there's been a new surge of corona in China. And they are saying this is coming from black people. Even if some black people have corona disease, is this how to treat people? They made these people pay six months rent and now they've kicked them out of their rooms. They are literally sleeping on the street. This is not how to treat people. We are not animals, we are not dogs. There are many Chinese in Africa, but we don't treat them like this. No. When this pandemic was going on, when this outbreak was still going on in China, Africa was still welcoming Chinese into our continent. We were welcoming them into our various countries. So how come you're treating people like this? Brenda, not her real name, has been living in China since 2017. Earlier this week, she was kicked out of her home without any explanation. And just like any other person in a foreign country, the embassy is usually the next resort. For her, it was the Kenyan embassy. I didn't have a place to go. I had to sleep outside. Yes, I did sleep outside. The next day they came, I tried calling them. Some of they were not actually responding to my call. What they told me, go to the police. I did that. After staying at the police station for a maximum of three good hours, they told me that we are sorry, we cannot help. She reached a dead end after two days of sleeping outside the embassy, a situation that many like her from other African nations have found themselves in. This video shows Chinese police officers escorting people of African descent from a place they had set apart for themselves. I know of two pregnant ladies. One is eight months pregnant, the other is six months pregnant. They cannot access hospital. Patricia, also not her real name, was lucky to have escaped the eyes of Chinese nationals who came knocking in her house earlier today. Our conversation on phone revealing just how scary everything is. No, I don't have food. I don't know what to do. Like, I just go to the street. I don't want to sleep outside. Now, it's either I choose to have somewhere to sleep or I choose food. gave us uh, an hour quick notice can you imagine only in china that the landlord would just come switch off your lights and give you an hour quick notice to leave when you when you have legal signed documents with him you have contracts of a six month rate yes, you're they, paid up front with the taxation and everything and problems. then and then the 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 the, the 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 landlord will just come to your door and knock and tell you he's coming up in 10 minutes that he's giving you an hour to pack out with the whole situation out there. Wow. Even, you don't, you don't, I mean, are we animals? What saddens me is that all these people were staying in China all this while when the outbreak was going on. How many black people died from this disease in China? But now that things are getting a little better, this is how you're treating us? This is unacceptable. Guys, I know this video is very upsetting and a lot of people are angry. I am too. But we shouldn't start attacking Chinese in Africa in retaliation. And an eye for an eye will only make us all go blind. All I want you to do is to keep sharing this video and let's draw people's attention to this. Let's draw our government's attention to this so that something can be done about this. Shalom.